Give yourself permission to feel good. I'm recalling when I um, was getting along on my spiritual journey and really looking at how much stress I had in my body, pain in my stomach and you know lower back pain and um, tension and all of this, uh, it's fear. And yet, in a sense, not really understanding it or knowing it, and, and actually letting go of some of these beliefs that were so deeply embedded about the work ethic, so to speak, that to keep us being productive as products, in a sense, generating energy. And what we want to do is we want to use our energy for ourselves instead of using our energy to manifest someone else's thoughts or ideas or desires that do not have our best interest in mind as well. And this is what we want to look at in everything that we're about and we're doing is that you know who you are, you know what's in your heart, and that you have the greatest partner with you, your beloved, who's my beloved. And we each have our own individual relationship, our own personal God, so to speak, divine perfect parents, lovers, perfect lovers, friends, that's who yourself is. And that feels right and feels good. And so I did had a lot of massage work. I did I was doing a lot of work to release the the stress. And I didn't understand at that time how it really was all in the mind is because of the programming of, of, of success and what that's supposed to mean and to avoid failure and whatever that's supposed to mean. And it's a driving force in a sense that is fear-based. And if anything is fear-based, it's artificial. It's a lie. And so, giving yourself permission to feel good is you have to look at what you're getting out of feeling bad and what's that about? And all the beliefs that have to do with money and have the beliefs that what have to do with uh, success and failure and these things that we have made so real that have been driving us How brilliant to harness the power of the divine to use, what would you say? For someone other than yourself, you see. And when I honor myself, I'm honoring yourself. For we have the same self, and yet we're individual cells or selves. See? So where I noticed, where was I the happiest? Where did I feel the best? And here I had attained everything in the world that I thought was what you're supposed to attain to really be happy, the success, the fame, everything like that. And I found that I wasn't. I said, something's wrong here. What is that? And I went in search of what was missing. And you know what was missing? 
personal God. That means my beloved, my partner. Mm -hmm. We are one and different. That's what it's all about. And that noticing the personalness of all, the personalness of the rock, of the water. There's consciousness everywhere. And that comes from persons, spirit souls, us. The nature is consciousness. Mm -hmm. Eternity, consciousness, bliss. Sat Chit Ananda, Vigraha, with a body of form to express through. And that is who we are in our pure state, in, in the pure state. Yes. And you could be there now. It's not about time. It's not about your degrees, your education, your money, your lack of it the age of the body, color, that's all local traffic to numb everybody, da, 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 da. manipulate, program consciousness, da, 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 da. turn that power into yourself with your beloved. And we link up we recognize that we are already one and that I endeavor for your welfare. Mm -hmm. Give yourself permission to feel good because you are at the level of who you really are. So right now, just let go of all the thoughts, move into your center, breathe slowly, start trusting in the divine. Mm -hmm. 